hey guys welcome to cut coding so in this video we are going to discuss another new question of arrays and string series that is my eight lexicographical string of all happy strings of length n so first of all we'll, we have to discuss what are happy strings are and uh, we'll be given two integers so we have to return the kth string of this uh, of the of a list containing uh, all the happy strings of length n okay so we have to return that the kth string of that uh, list okay so first of all let's discuss what uh, happy strings are okay so happy strings are those hap uh, strings that are made up of only three letters a b and c let's say suppose a b c a b a a c a hai na? a c b all right okay these are my happy strings because there are no consecutive characters follow like there are no two characters following each other and both are same okay a a b a b b a c c these are the string that are uh, that are not happy string that are, these strings are not considered to be the happy string because here these both those both these two characters are same here both these two characters are same here both these two characters are same all right so here these are not uh, our happy strings okay now so uh, let's say uh, for n is equals to 1 that is for of length 1 how many happy strings are there a b c there are only three strings happy strings uh, there are for uh, length uh, for n is equals to 1 okay now for n is equal to 2 if i say that find the second uh, second happy string of length one all right so here answer will be b now suppose for uh, a is, n is equal to 2 let's say a b a c b a b c c b and c c sorry not c c sorry c a and c b right so here if i say uh, for n is equal to 2 find uh, find out the third third happy string so here answer will be b a all right for any number greater than 3 right there would be many more uh, happy strings all right so here we have to return the kth uh, kth happy string for length n all right okay now let's discuss the approach first of all let me make all the happy string that are possible for let's say n is equal to 3 okay so here uh, a b c or okay a b and c uh, all the happy strings of length 1 okay then here at this point at this point both of these have this a cannot have a string that that is followed by a right so we have we, here we have only two choices these we have only two choices because it's called, it cannot have a after b it cannot it cannot have b after b right so say it can have only a and c after b here also similarly it can have a and b after c right so here yeah, happy string will be a b a c uh, b a b c c a c b n is equal to 2 these are uh, all the happy strings of length 2 now here it has two choices it has two choices similarly it has two choices it has two choices it has two choices it has two choices now for n is equal to 3 it has two choices that is let's say uh, a and c right it has two choices a and b it has two choices b and c it has two choices a and b it has two choices b and c it has two choices a and c right okay here it will be a b a a b c a c uh, a a c b right now b a b b a c then b c a then b c b then c a b c a c uh, C B A and C B C, right? So for n is equal to three, there are we have twelve happy strings. Okay, okay. Now uh, I have to first of all find out here. Let's say k is equal to seven. I say that find out the uh, seventh string of length three. So here answer will be what? Answer will be B C A, right? This is my answer. Now if I get to know somehow that I have to follow this part, that is this B then th let's say this this is the zeroth call this is the first call for b this is the second call let's say if i somehow get to know that i have to follow this part that i have to follow b then i have to follow c then i have to follow a or to reach this seventh uh, string seventh string then then i would be uh, able to form the answer right form the string okay now so now let's see how can we do this here here the total number of string for n is equals to 1 or 3 here all the three strings here at this level have two choices so now strings become three three into two into two right here also strings have 
all these these much strings have two choices here yeah, strings become three into two into two right so there are 12, 12 strings okay now strings here is six strings here are 12 okay now here let's say here here all the strings are 12 okay so if i divide this 12 by 3 because here we have these uh, 12 strings are made up of three characters so here if i divide by th 3 it gives me 4 that is these strings are divided in the part of 4 4 right because four part a part of four strings containing strings starting with a a part of four strings containing a string starting with b a part of four strings containing the string starting with c similarly here total strings are 6 divide by 3 it means there are two two strings starting with a starting with b starting with c right okay so for this level i get to know how many in how many parts these strings are divided so here i get four okay now if i say i want the seventh smallest string so if i divide seven by four it gives me that you have to follow the first call because seven divided by four is one so it says follow the first call that is follow this call where here you are going to get the answer okay okay now if no this this is not the case like the uh, some you somewhere you will be stuck because when 8 is equals when k is equal to 8 and when you divide 8 is equal to 4 it gives you 2 it says that you have to follow the second second part to get the eighth string but eighth string is here because this is the seven eighth is also line in first part so you have to divide first of all uh, you have to decrease k by 1 okay first of all you have to k minus minus decrease the k so first of all you are going to calculate the total that is initially your total will be equal to 3 for this n is equal to 1 and after that you are going to run a for loop for till n minus 1 because n here is 3 so you have to run a loop till 2 times 1 for this 3 into 2 and 1 for this 3 into 2 into 2 that is 2 times right then if you multiply this by, by 2 then again you are going to multiply this by 2 right so you, are, you have to run a loop n minus 1 times okay so here you get the total total will be equal to 12 once you find out the total you have to find out the how many uh like how many parts will be there containing the strings with a containing the strings with b containing the strings with c so to get the single part what do you have to do you have to just simply divide k by uh, k by that single part k by that single part so you found 12 here k k was no k was not you find 12 here first of all then you divide it by 3 right so it gives you 4 that is single part single part is 4 single part is 4 then you have to check which call you have to follow so let's say let's call it next call next call would be would be equal to what here let's see here you have to follow the first part first call so here 7 divided by 4 is equal to what first it says that you have to follow the first call so two things here you get to know how to calculate total then how to calculate single part then how to check what will be my next call now there now my single part would be updated my k will also be updated my k initially would was 7 for this now for this my k would be what my k for this would be 3 why 3 because we have already decreased the k minus minus so my k here would be equal to what k would be updated to k minus equal to single part multiplied by n call which call was there okay so if was if it was the first call if it follows the first call so k would be equal to now single part was 4 4 multiplied by 1 so k would be decreased to 7 minus 4 k would be 3 here because for this n is equal to 2 in these six um six strings you have to find out search for the third string right search for the string at index third that is three because these are indexed based index based okay be because for just to solving it because i am decreasing k minus minus that's why i'm uh, asking it to be indexed based okay so this this will be at index three because my next part which I have to follow that would be at where my k will be equal to 3. So k here would be updated. Okay. And also my total would be updated, right? Total would be updated here. Total would here become 6. Okay. So my k is going to be updated and my uh, total would be updated. Then my next call I, I have to calculate every time because I have divided by single part and then divided by sorry, I divided I found my n part by what? n part by k divided by single part because every time you have to you can calculate your uh, next call you have to search right next call you have to follow using k divided by single part okay 
now here if i go for the first call let's say a b and c if i have my first call at it let's say i have my zero call it means i have executed my a okay then let's say if i i if i get my first call right here my answer is bc right if i get my zeroth call again my for this string my zeroth call will be b, b c right but zeros is also already executed so then i have to check if my previous call is equal to equal to zero if it's equal to the previous zero then next the new call execute the current call that is execute this first call okay because b represent the first call execute if p call is equal to equal to zero it means this has been executed then go for this call because the previous one was the zero so after a you cannot apply you cannot add other a right so you are going to go for this b right similarly if the if the previous was this b then you have to go for c right if you, you are going to check again if p call is equal to equal to one then go for then make previous call to two right because previous call will be two because this is going to be executed so execute this call the second call and make the previous call to two okay okay so here now first of all we are going to calculate total then we are going to run a loop while n is not be, n does not become equal to zero okay then we are going to calculate the next call every time and then we are going to calculate the single part also right because the single parts are changing here here it's four here it is two then here it would be one right okay so now let's write some code initially for the first level we know that our total is equal to three then we are going to calculate for int i is equals to one till n minus one right i plus plus total is increasing by two every time total is equal to two ot okay now here there is a case there is one more case that when my k is greater than total then you have to return empty string what does it say let's see when my k is greater than let's say here total is 12 and i ask my 13 string 13 string i say that give me the 13 string of length 3 but of length 3 we have only two 12 string so i cannot give this answer right so i am going to check if my total is uh, k is greater than total then return an empty string so if k is greater than tot return empty string all right okay now you are going to run a while loop for your all of your levels right when n is greater than zero yeah you are going to make a string answer string first of all let's make a variable previous call which is initially equal to zero for minus one okay zero for minus one, which is initially going to be minus one for zero then you have next call which we don't know we are going to calculate it then you have the answer string answer which is initial equal to empty string then you are going to calculate then you are going to have no nothing then nothing here here you are going to calculate your single part first of all in single part which would be equal to what single part is equal to what total divide by your uh, single part total divide by false false initially would be equal to 3 so let's say i told you that if you divide 12 by 3 then you get the single part which is equal to 4 right so int calls is equals to 3 total divide by call then you have to calculate the new call you have to check with what is going to be the next call next call would be equal to what next call would be equal to k divided by single part right see here k here was 7 7 divided by 4 gives you first one it says you have to go for the first call first of all it means you have to append, append b to the answer then here k changes k changes k becomes to 3 k become equal to 3 then you again check k divided by here what is total sorry what is the single part single part here is 2 so 3 divided by 2 is what 1 1 so from here you again have to go for the first call this is the 0 this is the 1 then it says append c so it becomes bc right then for here also it says go for the zero call because we are going to update k again here so k reduces to one here we'll see here okay then you have here you are going to go for the uh 
zero cone. Okay, that is for a. Okay. So n is n next call is will be equal to k divided by single part. Now you have to check if my next call is of zero zero is of zero. Then you have to check if my previous call was zero. If let's say if my previous call was zero, if the previous call was zero, then go for the next call. That is execute the first call then. Uh, leave the zeroth call, go for the first call and make previous call to be one. Otherwise, go for the zeroth call itself because zero was not executed and make the previous call to zero. All right. Else, else if new call is equal to equal to one. If new call is equal to equal to one. If your new call is equal to one, it means you have to execute the first call. Now you are going to check if your previous call was equal to equal to minus one. It means zeroth was not executed. Or your previous call was equal to equal to two. It means now you can execute the first call. So you are going to make the previous call to one. Previous call will be equal to one. Otherwise, make the previous call equal to two because you cannot execute the first call. Then execute second call and make the previous call to two. Else, make the previous call to two. Again. Okay. Now here you have to uh, update total, right? So here total become equal to single part. Total become equal to single part, and again k become equal to k minus equal to single part multiplied by n call. Here total become equal to single part, right? Total was twelve here. Then it becomes to equal to four. Okay. Now k minus y minus equal to single part into next call. Then do what? Then append to my answer. My answer plus equal to care. Then a plus previous call. Okay. Now. Calls will be equal to two now because initially only the calls are three. Otherwise, after that you have only two calls. Then return answer dot two string. Okay, now let's try to run this. String answer is equals to. Okay, it would be capital S. successful and now, now let's try to submit this uh second two case cases are failing let's see what's wrong with the code mm, total upon my calls and call is equals to k divided by updated by okay previous mm. if previous call value is equal to equal to zero Initialize the previous okay. Otherwise, previous call. Mm, while n minus minus is greater than zero. Okay, so here I forgot to decrease k to k minus minus. Now let's try to run this. And now, now let's try to submit this. Submitted. Okay. So I hope guys I was able to make it clear to you. And I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, please like, share, and comment. And thanks for watching.